Welcome back to another video. We are out goose hunting today, me and the boys. And then we got uh, Froto out here with us. That's Carter's cousin and his brother, Mark. So we're gonna have five shooters. I'll be behind everyone. And we're running a pretty big spread today. Just us, I think we're running, we're not, I don't think. We're running 50 dozen dive bombs. We got V2As, Fs. We got all the goodies in there. We're, we're leaving the black and whites out today. We used them yesterday, it worked. We shot our nine man limit. I think we're just gonna try new things and leave them out, but I'd say our spread is, oof. I don't know, what do you think, 10 or 150 yards wide? 100, 150, yeah. Yeah, we got a pretty long spread, but uh, the ground is frozen today. It wasn't frozen yesterday, but good thing Dive Bomb has the dirt daggers. Those are lifesavers for us. So this guy right here, this is a uh, dirt dagger. Uh, this is, our, I think, our first time using it. Finally got cold enough for us to break it out. But I'll show you guys what you got to do with it. So it comes with these stakes, disattached or unattached, whatever you want to call it. So you take these and you screw them in here. It really helps if you just get a crescent wrench or something and tighten them down. Maybe use some like Loctite on them so they don't come loose. But so far, this thing's been working good. We're in like a chisel plowed cornfield today. So some of the times when you stake it down in, you're not getting actually through the dirt to the softer stuff. So what I've been doing is this top side here works too as a really good mallet. So once you put a hole down there for the decoys, and if, you, if it's not soft, you can take the top and just kind of tap the decoy in. So it's kind of multi-use, I guess. So here I'll put one in for you guys. Just like that smooth as butter. So if you guys want to pick up one of these dirt daggers, you can actually get them on Dive Bomb's website for 55 bucks. And I'd, I'd recommend doing it because it definitely helps when you get into these colder winter days. Do, 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 do. This is a limited time drop hoodie. Oof. You got one. Sheesh, yes sir I did. did you, go you got two, two of them. them. Two of them. Two of them. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can't forget about Dustin. What do you got on? Trash. Today we're working with South wind about five mile an hour. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Five mile an hour. Today we're working with a south wind at about five mile an <laughs> five five mile an hour. Well, we just got all the blinds all set up and got all the snow covers on them. We're working with a five mile an hour wind today. I'm running the CT5 carbon fiber today. Impala Plus, holding up very well. Yesterday we shot a nine man, didn't have any issues with it, and look, it's still. A little cold that thing is. No, she's she's ready to rip today. Well, it's a little bit chillier today, so I put on my firewood. Um, these will be burned and tortured at the end of the season here, once I don't need some bibs anymore. I might as well just wear some thermal pants. Oh, oh nice these zippers. Are, yeah, these are, no, these are actually firewood after this season is over. These are firewood, unless someone wants to buy them for $10. Actually, no, don't, I don't even want to sell them because they're absolute garbage and I don't want to put that burden on someone else. Cheese sticks for them. I'd rather wear a pair of cheese sticks than these things. I'd agree, honestly. I like mine.
Welcome. Well, we dropped three out of that last flock. I was uh, filming the main group, the five or six, whatever, how many there was in front of us. And I guess there's a two pack on the right side and I guess they got to the spread first. And uh, Dustin shot those two and one from the main group. That was, the main group was a poke. It was like 40, 50 yards, but we dropped one. But uh, we got a total of 15 birds down right now and it's about midday. We needed three more geese. I didn't even shoulder my gun because we had 50 geese at 15 yards with their wings set. Guess how many fell? Two. One in the decoys and sailed one. That was bad. That was bad. Here comes Carter. He thinks he shot a goose, but we're gonna get his word. Well, I pulled up. We need three more geese. I shot one, and I just held my gun, and waited, and nothing else fell. He's trash. I wasn't gonna shoot the last three geese. <laughs> Got a little wrestling match going. What's your name? Angelo Gambino. What's your weight? Uh, 140 pounds. Height? 5'6". Reach? 117 inches. Dustin Wolf, 5'2", 103 pounds. Five inch reach. Where you from? South California. Well, Mark, your brother's fighting a pretty strong guy tonight. My brother, man, I'm gonna have to put it on him. I've seen him toss a couple guys around, yeah. you know? I've seen him toss a few guys up, a few guys down. I'm gonna give it to him. Sounds good. He is a wrestler, was a wrestler. Dustin's pretty good wrestling as well. Who told you that? Past, uh, past wrestlings, not wrestlings, past matches. Guess so. All right, Tanner, who do you think's gonna win this showdown? I got my money on the 5'2", 103 pounder out of uh, South California, Dustin. Okay. But I think I might have to take on the champ after this. Whoa! Big talk, no action. I'm trying to wrestle cameraman. <laughs> I want a clean, fair fight. No biting, no pull herring, no sit cause unzippering, cause you know how that goes. A little handshake, a little handshake in the middle. All right, all right. We already went over the rules. Russell! Oh, she's getting physical, folks. Looks like Dustin's got Angelo by the head here. He is trying to get him down. Angelo is trying to recover, but Dustin has that reach on him. And Angelo is trying to hold his hand. Oh, Angelo tries to go for the reach. Oh! Oh, we got geese coming, but we need one more. What's going on? We do have a five pack. <laughs> 
Yeah. Pause. We're gonna let this two pack do what they're gonna do here. We're more focused on you winning this wrestling match yep. here. You can't go 0 and 1. Nope. You don't allow that. You can't wear Sitka and drink Mountain Dew and lose. Never. Not this guy. So take a big swig. Let's get her rolling. Get some of that goodness in your system. Fire him up, bro. Come on. Fire him up, Carter. I'm fired up. Let's go, Angelo. Let's go. Fuel me. Hey, fuel me, coach. Come on, coach. Coach, hey, fuel me. Good. But, um, that was a good first dude. round. Uh, yeah, we yeah. got stuff going on. All right, this is round two. We just missed a flock of geese on the left side. We still need one goose, but we are still out here wrestling and ready for round two. I'm ready. I'm also ready. Go ahead. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Dustin has rabies. He's barking like a dog. He also, no, that would be Angelo with the small face. Oh, oh, oh. We have a single goose. So as before, what Justin was just saying. Justin. Justin. Who's Justin? Justin? My name, not Justin. I don't know my name. What? <laughs> so we okay, got the let's go. I'm ready. Hurry up, get this wrestle match done. We need one more. <laughs> well, when you have two very great competitors, it lasts sometimes. Sometimes. Last long time. Last long time. All right. As soon as I cross this line, you guys are good. Goodbye. Oh, Dustin with a cheap Ow. shot. It's a goose, son. No, I use goose as weapon. Who do you think's gonna win? You still think Angel's gonna it's, win? It's still tight. It's tight. I don't know who's gonna win right now. It's oh, tight. That's your own. That's your own guy. It's, you're coaching right there. You say he's tight. gonna lose. Dustin's got advantage. Uh -oh. He's oh. taking him down. Oh, he's taking him down. Push through, Angelo. You got it. Hey guys, any birds? Big line, 12 o'clock, they are getting a little closer. Andrew is not giving up. He's going for that. He's going for that he's flip. Going, he's going for the flip. Uh-oh. Where are you going? You're lost. <laughs> he's tired. <laughs> not at all. How you feeling, buddy? Where are we going from here? I don't know. All right, Angelo, what did you think about uh, your first hunt? Uh, Not first hunt, like, but you can, You drove up here from the cities. Yep. What time did you leave this morning? Uh, so we got off work at about 12.30 last night. We hit the road at about 4.30 this morning. Uh, I met up with the boys in the field and got her done. Yeah, it was a uh, blast every time I come up here, so. Where are you going, Mark? You got, I, you got, I, 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 I need your post-hunt interview. The boys call, you got to make it out. It's always a good shoot every time. Got to do it. We left at, yeah, 5 in the morning. Burned up here. Got it done once again. Yes, sir. Shout out to the boys. Thank you for having us. Well, it's always a good day when you get some birds on the ground. The last couple weeks have been pretty tough, honestly, with the weather changing. We'll get a couple days where it will be 50, and then the next three days after it will be 20, so the birds are all messed up. We didn't have any snow on the ground. So this last snowfall really helped us out and back on the birds again feels pretty good. So as long as this snow sticks around, I think we should stay on the geese for the rest of the season. What do you think about today's hunt? Not good at all. No. Well, it, it was, Why? Well, no, it was a good hunt, but my shooting accuracy, well, percentage today, bad. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to step that up. Today's hunt was pretty good. Uh, I mean, we're getting out of here before for shooting times over and uh it's always good to take it's always good to take a w in december um i i love geese in the snow and 
and especially in December, it's it's really, really good. Um, I uh, I just really like geese a lot, so it's pretty pretty sweet to shoot geese in December with, with geese in December. I like geese in December. What's up? Did did you tell him it was December? No, not yet. You want to tell him? We were shooting geese in December. Uh, here for my very first honorary smack em do chug. Good one. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Ice cold. Oh, I got do on my camera!